Hello, I'm John Sao from Group 279. Today, I'll introduce the Gimchi Museum named Gimchigan in Korean. Located on the 4 to 6th floor of Insadong Maro Main Building, this is CNN's 11th largest food museum in the world. It has been opened since 1986 and has been operated as a place to promote and experience kimchi. On the fourth floor, there is an information desk, a museum store, a kimchi yard, and a scientist room and a kimchi love room. In Kimchi Matang, you can watch kimchi related videos on a large screen and you can experience a game of making kimchi at the Gimjang play table. In scientist room, you can observe kimchi lactobacillus with an electron microscope. You can enjoy the ex exhibition at Gimchi Sarangbang. In Gimchi study room, you can learn a oral history of Andong Nong Am Jon Tak's Gimchi and various kinds of Gimchi from each region. Also, you can watch Joseon Dynasty Royal Gimchi record videos. In Gimchi, you can see various Korean Gimchi and pick out fresh vegetables from around the world. On the 6th floor, there is a room for dedication for UNESCO, Intangible Cultural Heritage, Gimchi Maru, a Gimchi Workshop, and a Gimchi Tasting Room. For Intangible Cultural Heritage Dedication Room, you can learn about Gimchi, the Gimchi culture, modern Gimjang landscape, and Gimchi archie. You can participate in the cooking class at the Gimjang Maru. Gimchi Workshop offers various artistic activities based on Gimchi. Gimchi tasting is available in Gimchi tasting room. What I want to emphasize today is the difference between Gimchi in Korea and pickled vegetables in other countries. Today's Gimchi shape emerged in 1600s, when chili peppers began to be commercialized. However, the origin of Gimchi is long enough to go back to the Three Kingdoms period. In history, the Three Kingdoms period had a cultural environment in which full-fledged settlement, agricultural life was developed. Also, the early kimchi was created through salt pickling, which coincided with the climate of Korean environment. To store food for a long time, people developed a way to dry food, evaporating moisture through drying. Since then, humans have developed into salt picking methods. The next step came the method of storing food, which is to ferment. Kimchi is also in line with this food storage with development process. Our ancestors also developed a method of pickling food using salt produced in salt, and this was the beginning of kimchi. In China and Japan, there were also many salted vegetables. Pickles dipped in soybean paste soy sauce and less pickled vegetables that stayed in the early stages of fermentation. But the biggest difference between Korean kimchi and other countries is that Korean kimchi has seven distinctive flavors. Not only five basic flavors on the food, but also more flavors including the albumin caused by salt. Korea's kimchi contains the independent taste of its own, cultural history from a long term ago, and has been used kimchi in various types of dishes. This kimchi was developed and settled in various ways depending on the climate, season, living condition of various regions of Korea. As each country has its own name and taste, I am proud of being a Korean people, which is the origin country of kimchi. If you have a chance, please visit the Museum of Kimchi Gan. Thank you for listening.